The youth of Malaysia have enormous opportunities now because they live in a region and a country that's booming economically and I think the government is making major investments in their own education and health. The World Bank has estimated that uh, output of Malaysia would rise by some 23% if women's labour force participation rose to levels like China and Indonesia. I feel there's a huge opportunity though um, looking at what the statistics are in education and higher education especially in terms of how many women go into tertiary education and how many women graduates there are compared to men. I think there's a huge opportunity there that has not yet been tapped. The private sector has incredible opportunity just because the private sector has scaling power. And so when I think about economic growth, equitable growth, inclusive growth, the inclusion, the involvement of women could create a multiplier effect in terms of change in the workforce, both in terms of diversity, uh, not only in terms of gender diversity, but diversity of ideas, diversity of experiences, and diversity of life lessons. The things that are needed in terms of getting uh, the voice of uh, Malaysian women, really, is having leaders who are eloquent, able to explain what they want, why they want it. The only way that you can create change in this world is if you have leaders who are ethical, who are values-led, and who have empathy uh, for the change that they desire to see. In my experience, women leaders, particularly because of challenges they may have had to overcome, have a high degree of empathy, high degree of emotional intelligence. Having education alone and all these qualifications, I feel, is not important if you do not come with people skills. So there are three qualities, I think, which are absolutely essential for women to flourish in the workplace. Persistence, resilience, and aspiration.